The Homecoming, written by Harold Pinter in 1964, is one of the most enigmatic and powerful plays of the 20th century, known for its exploration of family dynamics, power struggles, and psychological warfare. Set in a modest, dilapidated North London home, the play centers around the interactions of a dysfunctional family that is thrown into disarray when an estranged son, Teddy, returns with his wife, Ruth. Through its sparse yet sharp dialogue and loaded silences, Pinter explores themes of masculinity, domination, sexual tension, and the complexities of human relationships. This play is widely regarded as one of Pinter's finest works, showcasing his unique style, often referred to as Pinteresque, where menace, ambiguity, and dark humor are interwoven. The story revolves around a family of men living together in a decaying London home. Max, the aggressive and domineering father, his sons Lenny, a menacing pimp, and Joey, a slow-witted aspiring boxer, and his brother Sam, a chauffeur and seemingly the only gentle figure among them. The dynamic among these characters is already charged with animosity, sarcasm, and unspoken resentment when Teddy, the eldest son, returns after a six-year absence. His unexpected arrival with his wife, Ruth, unsettles the family's already fragile equilibrium, and Ruth's presence sparks a series of power struggles and shifting alliances that lead to an ambiguous, unsettling conclusion. The play begins with the men engaged in routine arguments and insults, painting a bleak picture of a family devoid of warmth or affection. Teddy, an academic, seems estranged from the violent and uncouth world of his family. His wife, Ruth, however, soon finds herself drawn into the twisted dynamics of this household, eventually emerging as a figure of power and control over the men. By the end, Ruth has assumed a dominant role, while Teddy is left uncertain of his place or purpose, quietly retreating as the family accepts Ruth into their world in a shocking reversal of traditional family roles. The homecoming is a masterclass in power dynamics, with each character vying for control in various ways. Max's initial authority as the patriarch is constantly challenged by his sons, especially Lenny, who undercuts him with sarcasm and psychological jabs. The arrival of Teddy and Ruth disrupts this balance, introducing an outsider and ultimately a new focal point for power. Ruth's sexual allure becomes a potent force that unsettles the men turning their lust into a weapon. Her decision to stay at the end of the play is an assertion of dominance, signaling a shift from a male-dominated hierarchy to one where a woman reigns over them. Pinter's portrayal of power is often brutal, with characters using psychological tactics, manipulation, and sexual tension to assert dominance over each other. The play's dark humor often arises from the way these power struggles are presented as mundane, everyday interactions, highlighting the absurdity of the family's behavior. Sexual tension pervades the homecoming, and Ruth's sexuality is a central focus. Her allure disrupts the family dynamic, captivating each of the men in a different way. Pinter presents Ruth as both an object of desire and a figure of agency, as she gradually takes control of her sexuality and uses it as a tool to assert dominance. This theme is provocative, as Ruth's willingness to stay and entertain the men's advances blurs the lines between submission and empowerment. Pinter's depiction of sexuality is complex and uncomfortable, challenging traditional moral boundaries. Rather than condemn or justify the character's actions, he leaves it to the audience to grapple with the ambiguities and ethical gray areas creating an unsettling effect that lingers long after the play ends. Pinter explores the theme of alienation, both familial and existential, through Teddy's character. As the intellectual who has pursued a life outside of his family's world, Teddy represents the disconnect that often exists between family members who have taken vastly different paths. His estrangement is evident not only in his interactions with his family, but also in his marriage to Ruth which seems devoid of warmth or true intimacy. The play suggests that even those bound by blood can remain strangers to each other, inhabiting separate worlds despite physical proximity. 
Teddy's isolation contrasts with Ruth's eventual immersion in the family dynamic, highlighting the ways in which individuals can feel alienated even in familiar settings. The character's failure to connect meaningfully with each other underlines Pinter's broader theme of existential isolation, suggesting that individuals are ultimately alone, even within their closest relationships. One of Pinter's trademarks is his use of silence, and the homecoming is filled with pauses that convey as much as, if not more than, the actual dialogue. These silences create an atmosphere of tension, inviting the audience to read between the lines and interpret the unspoken emotions and power dynamics at play. Pinter's sparse dialogue is loaded with subtext as characters often reveal their vulnerabilities, frustrations, and desires through what they don't say rather than what they do. The play's language is both economical and impactful, using understatement and ambiguity to heighten the sense of menace and unease. The homecoming has been both praised and criticized for its ambiguous, unsettling themes and characters. Some critics view it as a brilliant exploration of human psychology, power, and sexuality, while others have found its portrayal of female agency and family dynamics disturbing. The play's ending, in which Ruth assumes a dominant role and Teddy leaves without her, has sparked endless debate and interpretations. Is Ruth empowered or objectified? Is the family's acceptance of her a triumph of personal agency or a perverse manipulation? Pinder's genius lies in his ability to provoke such questions without providing easy answers, making The Homecoming a timeless piece that resonates with audiences across generations. The play's influence can be seen in modern drama, where themes of dysfunctional families, power struggles, and psychological realism have become increasingly prominent. The Homecoming remains a staple in theater, challenging actors and directors to navigate its complex emotional terrain and leaving audiences with a sense of unease that speaks to the depths of human nature. The Homecoming is not a play that offers resolution or catharsis. Instead, it invites the audience to confront uncomfortable truths about family, desire, and power. Its ambiguous ending and morally complex characters defy easy interpretation, encouraging viewers to grapple with its themes long after the curtain falls. Harold Pinter's use of silence, his mastery of subtext, and his willingness to explore the darker sides of human nature make The Homecoming a work of profound psychological insight and enduring impact. This play is a must read for those interested in modern drama, as it embodies Pinter's unique vision and challenges audiences to question their own perceptions of family, loyalty, and identity.